So this is the Moses Reed Tyler Scholarship Subcommittee meeting, June 24th, two o'clock. And um, this is the second of our meetings. We usually only have one meeting, but we have some unusual circumstances this year because of this pandemic. And uh, we thought we had it covered. Uh, <laughs> When we when we said on the application and when we posted out on Facebook um, uh, that we're going to extend the deadline because we know that um, things were stressed this year, so we extended the deadline and then I posted on um, Berlin Neighbors Connect that please plan ahead because Berlin Memorial is closed and you can't just drop your your application off there because there's no box there you have to put it in the mail so please plan in advance for that time you need to mail it um, however what we learned this uh, you know a week ago was that um, some some people went to drop off their applications and couldn't and so um, they put them in they put their applications in the mail now, a couple of things about that. Um, one is, I felt we needed to re-meet because um, these, this felt like extenuating circumstances. It, I, I didn't feel right about cutting people out of this process because there wasn't an open drop box down at the school like there is every other year. And um, I also, um, when I looked back at the application form, I saw that I, I did not include a contact number. If you have questions or issues, call this person at this number. Uh, it, it wasn't on there. So I feel, um, I felt that we needed to reconvene to decide whether we wanted to reopen um, these scholarships to include consideration of these three that came in late. The other issue was that one one of the applications had a note in it that said I I tried to drop it off but there was no drop box. So I saw we that. See that right. there's an effort there and was very clear about that. I'm assuming that that's what happened with the other two, but I can't really sure. tell because for some reason the the mail there there are applications came through the mail to Berlin Mo um, Memorial with stamps on it and no postmark date, which is very odd. I don't know how that happens, but I went to the post office and I said, how'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> and they said, well, I don't, we don't know, but <laughs> maybe uh, they came in, the, <laughs> they put them in the Berlin only drop slot there at the post office. So, somebody, so two of the applications came through without any postmark on the um, envelope, but they, and I don't exactly know when they arrived because they went to, as they should, to Berlin Memorial Mail. Um, Berlin Memorial picked up mail Friday morning of the application deadline day and Monday morning after the application deadline day. So I thought we had everything that we were going to get. But then I guess they didn't pick up their mail again for a while. And But when they picked up their mail next, there were these three straggling applications now last year we didn't have any late applications so I, i'm assuming that these were all uh, well-intentioned drop-offs that i would agree frustrated. i would agree with that yeah i think this year we have to give people the benefit of the doubt um, that's right yeah. yeah good i'm glad we're in agreement about that because i i felt like that too um the um i completely just lost my thought Oh, so I so I contacted um, the trustees of the fund to ask if we could because you know we have already submitted the uh, awards from our first meeting, <laughs> and right. the school committee approved those awards. So I I contacted the trustees to see can we are there still funds? Can we still give more funds this year? And their response was yes, you can but they have to come out of next year's pot. Okay. So um, whatever we give today, we'll reduce the pot next, next year. Okay. 
Um, we did such a good job with only those 10 applicants. It was I know, so that's right. We should have known that, that it was too easy. Right. I know, I know. It was too easy. So you each have um, copies, anonymized copies of the application with just, just the information that is pertinent to making, to, uh, making this decision today. And, um, and you have the rubric that we use to evaluate them. Yeah. So I wonder if we could go ahead and do what we, I don't have on the screen my level three columns. So I have a notepad. You, maybe you wanna do that too. Where we, I'm do. just gonna write down what each of us yep. has rated these three, these yeah. three applications, okay? Now I just have a, a question. If we, if we rated someone as a tier one, are we giving them the same amount that we gave the other tier ones? Is that that's like a, that's yeah, that's, I think that's yeah. a good question. I, my, my, I like, go ahead, Rich. Um, I had that same question in mind and I think that uh, we should, we have to assume these people would have been part of the group. We would have had 13 applications had it not been for the virus which kind of screwed things up. So my vote is, yeah, we'll, you know, we did two, two grand for tier one and a thousand for tier two. We didn't have any tier threes. Right. The, my, uh, only, my only reason for asking is because um, if, for instance, we decided they were tier ones, $6,000 off of next year's money, which is quite a considerable amount of money off of, sure. what, off of what next year would be. So that's why I was asking that question. That's true, like, and, and if they were in the pool yeah. with everybody else this year, our tier amounts would have been less. Right. It would have been divided among 13 or whatever it was. Uh, 13. Seven, seven tier ones, and three tier twos, right. I think we yeah. had. And we would have divided yeah. that pot out differently right. and everybody right. would have had a little less. Right. right. Um, I'm just trying to be cognizant of, I, I totally yeah. agree with what Rich is saying, totally, that we would have, these three would have been part of that pool. It just would have been a little less. I'm just saying if, if we decide that these are tier ones, $2,000, that would be $6,000 taken off of the amount of money for next year, then that's a, that's a lot of money to take off. So do we need to consider that when we're deciding? Right. Uh, you know, there, I mean, we can recalculate it too. I mean, another option, although it feels like we're penalizing them a little, which, you know, maybe, maybe the rationale for that is uh, they waited till the last minute to turn in their, <laughs> their applications. Um, but um, would be to say, will award the amount that they would have gotten if they had been in the pool. So in other words, if the pot okay. had been divided across 13 people, right. they would have gotten a little bit less and that's the amount we could award people. So if we wanted to be careful about the pot next year, I mean, they can't, and the only way to rationalize that is to say that, um, uh, they, they waited till the last minute to turn in their applications and to find, I mean, that there was no Dropbox. We did publicly post that, but it, it, so it, it is a bit of a penalty. Um, in one case, one of the applicants, I noted this, one of their, and I can't tell about the other two, but one of them, the postal, the postmark date on the envelope was June 3rd, which is several days after. So they didn't run right down to the post office the next day and get it in, or even that day, because the deadline was at three, the post office was still open. Right. So this is several days after. Um, so. All right, so that's legitimately late then. Um, by the postmark date, yeah. That's legitimate. The post office hasn't closed during the pandemic. So right. they've been working every day. Right. They, at the very least, they could have gotten in the post office the next day. But, right. um, and the other two, the thing is that the other two, I can't tell when they were mailed. I have no, they could have been mailed the same time. Right. Because we live in Berlin and we sometimes don't have a postmark <laughs> in our mail. Evidently. <laughs> Just learned that. 
Um, but so there, that, that is a penalty. Um, so why don't, I, I'm gonna suggest that we go ahead and we go through the ratings and see where we think people fall and then, and then revisit this conversation about amounts. Would that help? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Because maybe yeah, we don't need to worry about the impact if for some reason we rate them. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's start with number 12. Um, applicant number 12. Uh, Carol? Applicant number 12. I had tier one. Rich? I had tier one, one or two. I could go either way with her. Oh, that's funny. I had one with a minus, but I decided on one. So. Okay. And I had a two with a plus. And there we okay, go. We're so all in the same we're, boat. We're all around. Right here. in the middle. All right. We'll come back to that one. Okay. 13. Number 13, Carol. Um, 13. I had, I had a one minus. Okay. I had Which, a one. I had a one. Oh, wow. Okay. I had a three plus on that one. Whoa. That's like okay. one less. Last time when I had one that was way off from my three months. Right. So this one, we will have some discussion, real discussion. Yeah. Okay, 14. 14. I had a two. Rich? I had a, <clears throat> excuse me, I had a one, two. I could go either way. And I had a two. All right. All right, so we can say, maybe say that one's a two. Well, we'll have a discussion, but that would be more yeah. close. Yeah. So in discussing these, I'm going to ask that we try to, um, since this is being videotaped, that we try to maintain anonymity, right? I mean, there the applicants are anonymous to you, but if we start mentioning the name of the university, for example, or the type of program it is, then oh. it, may, it may make a viewer be able to tell who we're talking about. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so I think we should be careful about that. So, okay. Sorry, to, sorry to interrupt just for a moment, but um, when are the results revealed or whatnot? Um, the the res results, not names, but the numbers of awards uh, that we recommended from the first meeting were voted on at the last school committee meeting, uh, and numbers are being sent out to those applicants. We haven't posted the names anywhere yet. I was just saying, like, if if they if the names will be posted in the relatively near future, I can hold off um, posting this online until the names are announced. If, okay, if that's your preference. Uh, yeah, I I uh, see. I'm not sure because these have to be voted. So this is another issue, Rich and Carol. These ha these our recommendations have to be voted by the school committee, approved by the school committee, and we don't uh. meet again until August. <laughs> okay. So. Um, well. That means that their awards are going to arrive later than the other awards uh, also in time for school. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we will let people know in their letters of this delayed, these three applicants have de any delayed awards, but okay. um, they won't be approved till August. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. That, thank you, Brittany. Um, let's start with number 14. 14. Oh, okay. Let's work backwards here. Um, you had you had a three for this this one, right? No, no. It was uh, you said two. Rich said one or two. He wasn't. Oh, sure. that's this one, right? And I right. said two. I felt like this was on the rubric, pretty pretty squarely in the center. Um, there were there. This applicant did have some other, had uh, gotten some other scholarships and loans to support their pursuits, mm -hmm. and um, did describe some limited income from their parents. Uh, right. But otherwise, I felt like uh, the evidence looked in the middle. There was really moderate evidence of uh, being earnest and industrious, which they were, but it wasn't as compelling as other applicants. Not, right, not compelling, that's, yeah. yeah. And right. there were uh, multiple siblings that the um, 
parents were having to pay for. What number are we on? There was a number distraction 14. here. Sorry, Rich, 14. number 14. 14, okay, right, okay. The thing that concerned me about 14 is the financial statement money didn't add up. How do you I, mean? Uh, let's take a look at that page. Um, okay, page four. He's got a thousand dollars Berlin Alliance scholarship and um, uh, two subsidized and one unsubsidized and one unsubsidized loan. That's twenty-seven fifty plus a thousand is thirty-seven fifty. Yeah. And, and he's got total to be received yeah. fifty-five hundred. I'm yep. wondering where's the seventeen hundred and fifty coming from, unless I missed something. Unless they were, yeah, there's no amount listed for how much they'd saved. Right. Right. He, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So. That's just, that's an error. Um, that's why I said, too, I like the idea that he's going into criminal justice. I, um, I do. But um, still, it didn't add up. And uh, I found him to be, I'm using him because I'm just as making an assumption. Um, I found the applicant to be hardworking. I mean, if you work for a landscaper all summer in mow lawns. And 40 that, hours a week. That's hard work. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Um, but that was the, that was the, the main thing that stood out to me as evidence of being industrious and hardworking. And I, I saw that as sort of, I put that in the moderate evidence zone on the um, rubric. Mm -hmm. I, I, I agree. I had him as a, or him or her as a two um, plus, because I think it was, it kind of did provide the moderate evidence of, all the things we were looking for, but not necessarily the tier one where it was really compelling and, you know, yeah. Yeah. It went to that level. That's why I said it too. All right, so, um, um, Susan, you had him as a three? No, I had him as a two, or her as a two. Oh, okay, him, her, right. The applicant. The applicant. Okay. Um, I, I also think when you look at the um, the cost, yeah, um, overall cost, overall cost, it's less than, was than considerably others. less. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. So I, I think could, I, I'd be happy with I, the two. I'd be happy with the two. All right, all right. We have a two on that one, and that's. All right, we'll come back to the final amount shortly. Let's go to number 12. Oh, Carol, you have this as a one. Rich was wavering between a one or two, and I have right. a, a strong two. Um, and I, well, go, Carol, do you want to make your case first? Um, I thought that this person, first of all, um, worked a lot, had a lot of jobs to try to make ends meet, to try to pay for college. It looked like a lot of, um, and, and that internship as well as working. Um, so I thought that that was, showed that that person really, um, you know, worked hard and was industrious. This is the one, um, hang on, I gotta look. They have two at the same time. Two children? School. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's a lot for a family to undertake when you have two at the same time. Um, two, but that's in the middle of the rubric. Family burden of multiple siblings. Oh, hang on then. Just making a note of that. Um, 
you are right. Um, I was concerned that she. I was concerned that she um, wasn't taking any loans herself. I didn't see any subsidized or unsubsidized loans on there. And I'm not sure what that means. That may mean the family can afford afford that. Yeah, that's that could be sure. I don't. I'm not sure. There is one scholarship. Right. But it's a twenty-nine thousand dollar. Yeah, pursuit. Bill. Yeah, that's a, that's a good. Uh... Um, I I also had that uh, the earnest and industrious character side of the rubric as very strong. I agree with you, Carol, that there was really good evidence provided here of. Um, pursuing additional learning, an internship, um, uh, the work, extra learning. This person was pursuing through the sorority. Mm -hmm. um, and also the extra pursuits involved with changing the major and then going for a minor and a certificate in data analytics as well. So yeah. this person, yeah. you know, changed course and then laid out a plan and was was going after a lot of um, additional uh, credits and learning that would will benefit them going forward. Right. That's right. They, true. Like that. they had a focus and goal. Yeah. And, and, and you know, it's hard to change your your major and then catch all up on all those True. requirements and stuff. So I felt like the earnest and industrious side was very strong. The uh, financial need um, is, is there and it's, it's you know, an expensive pursuit and there's only one scholarship listed. Um, this candidate has received scholarships two years prior to this. Um, oh, okay. The, the first year, 1500 The second year, 725 So this person has received assistance at two different tiers. Yeah. Two different years. Um, okay. Just as backdrop. But um, I, I feel like the financial need side was not as compelling as some other applications. Um, and so that's why I felt like, well, this is, I could, from a financial need perspective, I would put this at a two. The two plus was because the the character side was so strong because right. of the industrious side, right? Yeah. yeah, that's where I was leaning towards was because of the industrious side, and I like the fact that the person changed. But when they changed, they really knew they what direction, like what they needed to get to their goal. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I. Rich, you've been wavering. If you had to choose now which which rating you'd fall on, where do you, if you had to choose one? <laughs> well, if fall? I had to choose one, right, how's this? I'll give you a political answer. I would choose two plus because mm -hmm. there isn't one, but which means I could go either way. I, I do, the one thing that stuck out at me was, you know, um, she wasn't taking any loans, but to your point, perhaps the family can help her. Um, I also just, I made a note here. I liked her academic caseload, it's a tough one. She's not, these aren't fluff courses that she's taken. Mm -hmm. So, um, right. and the only reason I'm using the pronoun she is because the word sorority pops up over yeah. and over. So. Well, and, and the course load is relevant to the direction yeah she's headed so yeah um i mean this person has really good grades yeah she does um yeah it's, it's the only thing that's really impacting her not being a one is that the financial need the case for financial need was not as strong as some other applications that's the there only thing that's that's impacting um, so this, this may be 
perhaps a candidate, maybe we, we are talking about creating a tier, creating a tier between one and two. There you go. Yep. yep. That would be, what do you think? No. I think that I like it. We could do that. Um, or we could just for this year say that this is a two because it did come late. I'm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like if we're wavering between a one and a two, yeah, yeah. rather than going down to the two, one, stay at the two. Okay, I think that we could make a case for that as well. What do you think about that thinking? Oh, I like it. Let's let's go with a two. All right, let's do two. I think that's true. We are having a late conversation about this because it's arrived late. Uh, and I think we have to be somewhat careful in the future about you know having one minuses or two pluses or I think a one two and, you know it could get really tricky yes. you know, yeah you know yeah. I agree I think it it also means that we should continue to think about how the rubric can be refined so that it leads us to one or the other more easily. Um, you know, so for example, we have these two qualities on the rubric, and on the rubric, they're weighted equally. Right. And so one question is, is one of these more significant than the other? And we might want to say, yes, uh, we think this one, this one counts more than the other one. And then when we're making these decisions, we can take that into effect. That would help us make this decision. If we knew that uh, the earnest and industrious side was, we decided that was the main criteria that we cared most about, um, then that would settle this question, I think. Right. Wasn't that um, what the Moses Reed Tyler? Yes, uh, both, of, both of these were qualities that he specified yeah. as well. Yeah. The financial need, uh, uh, we, he, they would not be able financially to secure their education without this, without right. this um, award. And that they had demonstrated earnestness and industriousness. So, um, and he did not particularly weight one or the other. Right. But for the purposes of decisions, since we probably have more applicants now than when he first started, when, the, when this was first started. Um, we might need to to wait to facilitate decisions. Yeah, down the line, I, we might need to do that. I think, but I think for the purpose of this year, maybe we should just say it yeah. too. Too, I, I I can live with that. I and because this is this is late, and you know we're all doing the best we can with that. And uh, a two tier two award is still a good award. It, it is. is. It is. Yes. All right, number 13, this one, I'm, I must be off on my thinking here. So I'm, I'm interested to hear what you, what you had to, how you thought about this one. Well, here's what I like about this kid. Um, I like the fact that when I look at uh, his uh, uh, industriousness, when I look at uh, how much he's getting in loans and scholarships, um, plus his earnings, this, 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 this applicant, is contributing almost a third of the total um, cost of that school uh, himself. And if you look on the right, award package that. sheet, which is a second to the last sheet, it's from the it's from uh, it's from the school. It, it wasn't listed in the in, in the application, but he's got. Uh, a scholarship, a grant, a, a subsidized loan, an unsubsidized loan. It's almost okay, seven grand. I, I'm not. Um, see, where is that, Rich? I pay. Yeah. It's the second to the last page. It's the page title is award package for a year. Oh, so two, I see where you are. And down near the bottom, financial aid award for 2020 2021 award year. Right. Because yeah. I did the same thing, Susan. I. At first, I, I wrote down no scholarships, no loans. That's, my, so did I. I got, yeah, and then I got to the end, and I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah right, They right. left that off the uh, form. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. Thank it you. Should for have been, it should have been listed on the form, though. That's yeah. why we had forms. That's right. That's right. No, you're right. Yeah. Um, you don't. You don't really just leave it blank, or you at least write C. Yes. You know, right. Right. Age. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they have a chunk. It's actually like a a quarter, really. Right. The total cost twenty. Right. Almost. Well, actually, it's, it, it's yeah, I mean it's it's yeah. you know seven three is a twenty one. When you add his two grand, I think he's going to contribute two grand himself. That brings it up to about nine. Yeah, it's quite oh, a bit. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, and Carol, so that was a compelling piece to you, um, Carol. How are you thinking about this one? Um, so I'm, you know, I'm kind of a softy. So I thought that the um, <laughs> The whole part about the seizures and yes. trying to overcome that and going to, to oh. school, um, they didn't just say, I can't do it. They just said, That's I can right. do it and I, good, and I want to do it. I can do it. I want to do it. And yep. I'm going to make this happen. So I kind good of look point. at that as an important piece too that says, you know, they don't give up. They're in, industrious. Um, they yep. want to do the they want to you know they want yeah. to make something there of yeah their I, I i had that in the top tier of the rubric under the earnest and industrious side and describes persistence and effective response strategies in face of challenges right right um, i thought I had that, that was good evidence of that i didn't feel like there was such strong evidence I said minor evidence of financial need. I didn't feel like there was a compelling case here, but I could be convinced otherwise of this, um, that I really, I really need this, this, these funds to make this work. Um, I'm just going to look at it again. I think you are probably right, Susan, in that they, they said, you know, I'm going to be staying home and preparing for college and staying safe. Yeah. Um, well, most but, most kids did have to say that this year. Right. But I, you know, I think that under the circumstances, that was that was okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I agree. You know? um, and and under the physical uh, health circumstances, this person wouldn't have had the same kind of work history as some other candidates so right. I didn't expect to see that but I, I think I expected to see uh, in order to be higher on the rubric more about the financial uh, need to make ends meet here all right well he does say also to your point um, from a very young age my parents told my sister and I they would pay for college but that we had to find a job and save up money and basically contribute ourselves. So um, yeah, for the book than anything else we wanted. Yeah, which is as much smaller amount. Yeah, that yeah. That's yeah. Everything they need. That is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it sounds that's, like that's why I ended up putting up lower. But so I had one that was in the bottom tier of the financial need rubric side of the yeah. rubric, and at the yeah. top of the earnest and the industrious side yeah so if i put those together i'd land it at two you'd land it at two i mean i gave it i gave it a so a three plus but i could land it at two what do we do I, settle on a two i think how much after oh, talking, susan I think you're two. frozen oh no we lost rich no I, you're okay with me oh we lost rich yeah. you thought you were frozen but he's frozen oh okay he's back uh, you're not moving yet but i hear your voice are you still there, Rich? We'll see if he. Funny, huh? Oh, I can hear you. Okay. You just got frozen. Just unstable. Um. So. So I I had a one minus. So I could land at a two, where and you had a what? You had a one, and a three. So you right. kind of landed three plus, a, a three plus. I had. So Rich, it's a matter of whether you feel. How strongly you feel that this person should be a one? Uh oh. So. 
Oh, you're down. My mic is on. Yeah, um, just unstable internet, I think. Are you still in the middle of the storm or no? No, okay. it's sunny out. <laughs> Rich, can you still hear us? We can't hear you right now. Just got blown off. What does this do? Right at the end. Right at the end. Do you want to sign out and try to sign back in and see if Christine's still online? I can let you in. Yeah. Try to maybe end the meeting off and Christy a note. Okay, yeah. Okay. It is? How do you know? Because the lights came out, came on. I just shut them off. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's what happened, maybe. The Buddha. Yeah, you might have had an interruption in power. We back? Uh, I don't see you moving yet. I hear you. Oh, we lost him. He's gone. But maybe if their power came back on, he'll come back on. Uh, I think he's going to have to sign back in now. Oh, uh, I know, but I think maybe he'll be able to. We'll get see back if he in. can, if he does that. I think um, while we're waiting, Susan, I think you probably are right that we should probably have a discussion about is um, industriousness and financial aid is one, you know, are they equal? more valuable yeah. or equal. I think we have yeah. to have that discussion because otherwise it puts you kind of in a right. Uh, they, 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 All right, I'm back. All right, we don't see you yet. Aminga. To click on your video button. Oh, that would be a good idea. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we were at the point of whether you would like to uh, argue for this person remaining in the one category in your thinking. Right now, Chris, um, Carol, and I have kind of come into the middle. But um, so we could we could um, agree on a. Uh, to only because of that uh, financial need yeah. case being weaker than the I can I can I'll I can buy that I'll go for that I'll do it too all right yeah because the family is paying for the college they're just using yeah. this money for books yeah. or yeah you know according to the statement yeah according yeah. to this right so, so all right so we're at a place where all all three of these um, We've landed on two, so that's the second tier. Um, and in the previous round, the second tier, each person was awarded a thousand dollars. Right. Um, so if we were to do that, that then reduces next year's pot by three thousand dollars. Which isn't that bad, actually. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. And yeah. it all depends on what well, the way they calculate that uh amount they spread they do some um formula that uh, spreads across several years and takes an average of gains so it's, it's not volatile like the stock market might be <laughs> from one year <laughs> to the next it's, okay. it's really um okay. averaged over time so it's it's likely to be something similar to what we saw this year so that's what i'm thinking because so, two years ago it was 16 in change this right. year it was 17 and change. Right. Yeah. So, so then we take away a few thousand, so it will be more like 14 maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm okay with that personally. Me yeah, too. I, think, I think that's okay. Um, if we give these three the benefit of the doubt, and so they each get $1,000, That's I think that's reasonable and good. Yeah. I think that will be helpful to them, and I'm happy to see that we have a uh, applicant from the graduating class at Tahanto and an applicant right. from the graduating class at Assabet. 
That's right. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Um, right. So I'm happy to, that they're at the table. Yep. Yeah. You. So, um, all right. I think we have agreement. Everybody will get a tier two award, or that's what we'll recommend to the school yep. committee. I guess the school committee can always say no. They came in late or something, but I don't think they will. But that will be voted until August. So I'll talk with um, Bowditch and Dewey about sending a letter that lets these applicants know um, how this was decided at a second meeting and that it's a delayed time, time frame. Um, but they will have this money sent in time for school. Good. Now, just a question. I think I probably know the answer, but with all with this pandemic and everybody's, you know, doing some different things, I know I've heard some people say, if I'm only going to do online at a co at a college and it's more expensive, I think I either will delay my education for a year, or I think I might go to a community college and take a few of the uh, courses, like a basic English or basic math yeah. or whatever. Um, how does that work for, for the awards we've given? Good question. So if somebody changes course from what yeah. they said they were going to be doing in their application? Yeah. Right. Well, the, the money is sent directly to the institution. So it would, it would be probably be between the student and the institution. So I'm assuming then that the institution would either send the money back or would say, we'll hold it for you until the next semester when you plan to be here. But okay. I would ask, I'll ask about it and do we, how they might right. handle that, should that That's happen. That's a good question, yes. But I do know it gets sent directly to the institution, not the individual. Right. Yeah, I know it went to the institution, but I, I was just thinking, because I've only heard people talking, not that they've made decisions, right. but I've heard some people say, well, then I think I'm, yeah. I don't want to do online, you know, right. at a $50,000 so school. I think that's actually good thinking because a lot of your college experience is being on site with your with your peers and teachers. Right. Um, so if they decide to go say to Quinn Sigmund instead of to UMass or something, um, would we have to reconvene to give that thousand dollars possibly to Quinn Sig or do we uh, I, I will ask about that because I think you could also make the case that the uh, money has to be returned because um, we granted that money on the plan that they presented here. Yeah. Right, 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 and right. If the plan is different, we might have voted differently. Correct. They would have had to make a different case to us about what they were doing and why. And we okay. might have decided differently about the award. Right. So uh, higher or lower, you know, it doesn't matter. But um, so I think you could make the case that the money would have to be returned. Um, okay. But uh, I will ask about it and do about that. That's an interesting scenario. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just everything is so different this year. You never, you don't it know. Is. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Um, all right, I think we're in good form. I will be contacting oh, yeah. Dr. Chindui about, the, about that question, and then I'll let school committee know that this is coming for the agenda in August. Um, and I guess um, Dr. Chindui would need to send a, a sort of a hold. I, I, I don't know, I'll have to ask them whether they would send, they can't send an award letter right now because school committee hasn't approved it. But right. they could send a letter saying um, the subcommittee has, you know, met and discussed your application if you should receive this award it will be coming through at this timeline right okay. yeah so that they can i can't say they can plan on it until the school committee approves it but they can at least kind of have a heads up that they're likely they're in the pipeline potentially right um, now do you, do you want to have a discussion about the weight um, right like now, closer to next year or now? Well, why don't we why don't we take a, the temperature right now, and then I can run that by um, Bowditch and Dewey and tell them we, we're interested in that. And they may say um, you shouldn't prioritize them because he didn't prioritize them. Moses Retiler didn't prioritize them. He meant for okay. you to wrestle with this, 
uh, that's one possible answer. But it would be good to, while it's fresh in our minds, to sort of uh, think it through right now, if we were free to prioritize these, how would we prioritize them? Let's just mm -hmm. get the temperature of our group on that now. So if you were going to weight character, industriousness, and earnestness versus financial need, would not be able financially to secure the education um, compelling financial need case. Is there one that you would weight more heavily than the other? Um, one that go ahead, Rich. One that I might weight less is that um, um, they wouldn't be able to secure their education should they not get this money in, yeah, in so many words. Small. Totally inapplicable yeah. today. Yeah, I, I agree. When and we've talked about that before. We did, yes. It's too small a grant that you, you couldn't, this wouldn't make or break your educational pursuits. That's right. Um, but but it, did, it does suggest that <coughs> financial need was important to Moses Reed Tyler. Right. Um, I, I kind of, I, if I had to, if I had to weigh one over the other, I, I would go with the character one and then take into account the financial need, whether they have loans, whether they, the family is, can help a lot, whether there's, you know, all of the financial pieces to it. Mm -hmm. But I, I like to see that people are working hard and realize that they have some responsibility in That's this right. education process that it's not just you know sit back and do very little mm -hmm. so right. I, I like the fact that you have to show that you are responsible that you do know that your education is partly your responsibility um that you also have to give to your community or if you can, you know, help in some way, um, help others. So I kind of like that as a, but I also see them as interwoven. So it's kind of hard. Yeah. Yes. Rich, um, which would you put at the top? Uh, if you were having to weight one of these, which would, would you give a little more weight to? Well, I'll tell you, uh, for me, I, um, I weight heavily that the kid, the applicant, is working very hard to uh, to contribute, to take the responsibility to contribute himself to his through his or herself through working rigorous working summer jobs, applying for loans should they need them, and then getting the scholarship. I think personal responsibility for me is huge, um, and. Uh, so that that's what that's what I'd put ahead of like character on. piece. Yeah. Yeah. I I I tend to agree with you. Uh, I mean, I think everybody who's going to go to apply for this is going to be able to. There will be some different uh, degrees of financial need, but Correct. to me, the most com compelling piece of an application is how much people are um, really grabbing the bull by the horns, <laughs> yep. for lack of a yep. better term, right. and digging in and trying to yep. carve their path uh, yep. forward. Sort, and, of like uh, saying, sort of like saying, look, I've done everything I can. I still need more. I, I would appreciate yeah. your right. help. Right, right. exactly. So exactly. I, I'll, I'll say that to Howard um, and Dewey, too, and just ask them if they have any issue based on the original trust, the frame, the language that Moses Reed Tyler used, is there any reason for us not to weight these when we need to? Mm -hmm. um, I think it would help the evaluation process be more clear. For mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Um, okay, that's good, that's helpful. Um, I will let you know what Bowditch and Dewey says. About both the um, change, I'm just gonna make a note here. Of change, change in education plans is basically what Carol was raising. What happens if 
I mean, that could also just happen in other years that somebody, it, it some could, life but, circumstance happens and they have to change right. course. Yep. Right. That can happen yep. at any time. It's, it's just this year very evident that people are right. thinking, if, you know, if I'm going to have a $50,000 education and it's all going to be online. Right, right. Then, maybe I know, should I, do this right now. Yeah. Maybe I postpone it for a year or take some classes at a right. community college and for the year or something. So it could happen any time. I think it just makes us more aware of it this year. Yeah, yeah. And I think I it's agree. a good thing to make sure we know the answer to. Um, so I'll take those two questions about it to Dewey. I'll let you know what they have to say. And uh, otherwise, I'm assuming this goes forward to the August meeting. We're meeting early in August as a school committee, so things will move forward at that point. 